What's going on, everybody? Gentleman94 here. Welcome back to the Hawker Harrier episode number six here on Ben Builds. Today, guys, we're jumping right back on in here on the Harrier with these little inserts that I installed in the last episode. I want to go ahead and cut these down with my X-Acto knife, fare them in, and get this look in the part. Now, I know this little separation that we had here when we first installed all of this, that tends to be pretty standard it looks like for this kit i talked to a few different builders you know they're on facebook and also on youtube that have the same issue that i'm having just that little bit of separation there between the insert and the actual wing itself it's not a big deal but it is a little bit of a nuisance so last time i went ahead and i used this strip of styrene to go ahead and just glue it in there to have a nice bit of meat so we can fare it down and hopefully it looks the part. Again, I'm not looking to do anything too crazy because, well, we'll have the seam mostly hidden by the nozzle and also by any weapons or drop tanks that we have on the kit itself. So I'm not too concerned with it being very noticeable. But I do want to go ahead and take some jeweler files to it, clean it up, sand it down, and get it nicely fared in. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that and we will get this thing rolling. Let's do it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put on the intakes now. And I've been dry fitting them, looking at these. They look pretty decent. Um, there's a little bit of a step that forms towards the bottom part of the intake. But I think we can go ahead and sand that down and fare that in as well. Don't think it would be too bad. So I think this is looking pretty decent right here. So we're going to grab some extra thin Tamiya. And let's just tack it into place. Just a couple of drops here on the inside and on the outside. That should give this thing a nice, solid attachment point. Really, the kit itself has been fitting decently enough. I haven't noticed anything too crazy, but there is a definite step here we're going to have to go ahead and take care of. Again, some sanding should go ahead and wrap that up. The other side as well, there's actually a bigger gap on this side here than it was on the previous side. Mostly the gaps at the bottom of the intake, so I should be able to just drop some Mr. Surfacer in there. I think it should be fine. The gap is actually not that big so I can't stick some styrene in there like I would for larger gaps. It's just there enough that we're going to go ahead and have to use some feller. A little bit of Tamiya extra thin on this and we should go ahead and let this dry. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle. That looks actually decent. Very, very nice. There is a larger step here on the bottom side of this intake as well so that's, well, it's unfortunate. But really, this kit is actually falling together fairly well. You know, aside from the intakes and the front wing, everything else is fitting decently. So let's go ahead and move on here. I want to go ahead and shift gears and work on the next section. I want to go ahead and go back to the front inserts there that we added and make sure those are nicely attached and everything is looking good. So right in here, we are going to have to throw some filler on that. We just are definitely going to have to throw some filler. We're going to have to sand these down, fare these all in. Otherwise, everything is looking decent. I want to do a little bit more work here on the front. I just wanted to make sure that these look as good as they possibly can look. Because again, they're not going to be as noticeable, but they will be there. And if you flip the model over and you kind of poke around a little bit, you might see a little discrepancy right up in this area. So I really want to make sure that these are fared in and smoothed out as much as possible. But I don't think these are going to be that noticeable, and I do believe that this looks the part. So I'm going to give this a little bit more work, then we're going to move on to the back tail cone. I want to make sure that that is fared in and that's looking the part as well. Yeah, everything so far. I'm really liking this kit. We're getting there, guys. It's taken some while, but we're getting there. 
So let's go ahead and grab our jeweler files and head onto the back tail cone, get that worked out. So I was able to go ahead and sand down the intakes, make sure that those are nicely fared in, and the plastic that I put in for the bottom there on the wings, that is also dry and it's sanded down. And I think it looks decent, especially knowing the amount of gap we had in there before. So we're gonna move on to the rear lower tail fin. This is going to be a pretty simple installation. I wanted to take my jeweler file to it and just remove a couple of seams. This is actually molded in one part, so both the top and the bottom, or left and right, depending on how you look at it, it's all molded into one piece. That's fine and all, but there's a little bit of a, um, of a lip that extends around the perimeter of the part. So we're gonna take my jeweler file and just sand that clean off. Let's go ahead and test fit that and see how it works here on the model. Looks like it, yeah, fits decently enough. I will have to take the jeweler file to that and sand it down even more so. But I think that is actually very, very decent looking. Nice. So we're gonna take some extra thin Tamiya, just drop that on there. That should go ahead and get that thing all solidified down. Once it dries, I can come back and I can sand it down and fare it all together. And then we should be looking decent for priming coat on this. A little bit of extra thin cement and we should be able to get this thing squared away. All right, let's go ahead and move on then to the top of the fin. I wanna get this vertical stabilizer done as well. So let's get out that sanding stick and get this thing ready for installation. With the tail fin more or less ready to go, let's go ahead and dry fit this and see how it looks. Yeah, fits well. I think we can actually drop some glue on this. Let's so put a little bit of extra thin right here on the fuselage itself. A couple of drops in these locating holes right there and there. Perfect. Now we just drop this right down on top. It should tack it up a bit and we'll run a bead of glue around the perimeter. So we're gonna let this dry. Make sure that it's nice and vertical. Make sure it's straight up and down. I don't want it you know, leaning off to the right or left. I really want to make sure it's nice and square. So I think this looks decent. Moving on, sticking with the rear tail, let's go ahead and put on the horizontal stabilizers. Let's go ahead and get those all done. So we have to go ahead and cut that out. Cut one of those pieces out right there. There's a little bit of a sink mark on it. I might have to sand it down, depending on how much of it is actually visible. And let's go ahead and take off a few of these little parts and pieces right here. A little bit of excess left over from the sprue. Nothing too crazy. There we are. Yeah, not bad. And one little piece right here as well. Let's just cut that off. 
All right, let's go ahead and test fit it here and see how it looks. It has to go in a very specific way. You know what? Before we do that, let's go ahead and take our jeweler file to this area right here. There is one little area that we need to go ahead and sand down. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. A couple of swipes with the jeweler file. All right, let's go ahead and install this right on there and let's test fit it onto the fuselage. Yeah. Okay, looks good. I like it. A couple of drops of extra thin right there. And let's get uh, one on the bottom section right along in there. And I think that's going to about do it for that side. One more right in the front area there. All right, looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is nice and true. And we're going to go ahead and grab the other one and throw that on as well. I want to go ahead and assemble some of these smaller parts. We have to uh, go ahead and put together the wheels and the drop tanks. So let's go ahead and jump in on that. Get those things all squared away. Get those things put together. I'm just going to go ahead and dry fit the front nose wheel right here to see how that fits in. And it's, uh, yeah, got decent fit to it. Here it is all finished up. We have also assembled the rear wheels and we are done with those. Those have to dry then we'll come back and we'll sand them down and get those all ready for installation. Maybe next episode or maybe the episode after that. These drop tanks look perfectly fine. There is a small wing that kind of sticks out the back of that drop tank. Um, but we need to go ahead and take our jeweler file. All these seams here need a little bit of sanding before I do that. So I want to make sure that um, I don't interfere with that little wing that sticks out the back. But other than that, these are looking decent. They kind of remind me of A4 Skyhawk drop tanks. <laughs> they have a very similar shape to that. So we'll put those aside for right now. I think, guys, we'll call it here for today. I know we haven't done a lot of assembly here, but we did end up getting those intakes on. The rear tail is all completed. Everything is fared in, and I think this is looking pretty darn good. Big shout out again to Martin Lamont. Thank you so much for hosting this group build, and thank you to each and every one of you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you next time here on Ben Builds, episode number seven.